Hello viewers, we'll be going over natural gas. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we're up 4.6% on the one-hour chart. We are now on positive MACD, and we're making higher highs at the moment. That is for the four-hour chart. And for the one-hour chart, we are also on a positive MACD, and we are also nearing overbought RSI. As for the daily chart, if we expand out further, we uh, would see that we are now approaching to positive MACD over the past several weeks, and we are starting to see a reversal in play, and we made higher highs compared that to the last previous weeks. And since we are starting to make that reversal, we are also making higher lows at the moment. And if we do manage to reverse and head down lower, the next possible support level that we may see will be around a price of where we saw previous resistance, which is around a price of $1.90. And that coincides with previous resistance that they back as far as February 19th, as well as March 11th and April 7th and also on April 21st. So that is our first immediate support if we do reverse and head down lower. As for support, we do see a possible resistance around the price where we saw previous support that dated back early of this year, January 6th, around the price of $2.10. And if we do manage to head up higher, that price resistance is roughly around 6.6% to the upside. As for support, if we do manage to head down lower, we may see a support level further if we fall around 3.9%. And let's head back to the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as the days progress to the seventh day, we have a 40% chance for natural gas to climb higher between 0 to 8.1%. On the other hand, we have a 40% chance for natural gas to fall between 0 and negative 8.1%. And on the extreme case, we have a 20% chance for natural gas to fall between negative 8.1% to negative 16%. So let's check the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So we have one day out. So one day will be a Tuesday. and Two days out will be Wednesday. So we have three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend. So the blue line is our current trend, and overlapping it is a trend that I believe is the best match. And that trend dates back to April 28, 2007 to July 25, 2007. So right here we have our current trend, and below the trend that I believe is the best match, the one in 2007. 17. So let's start comparing the two charts. So we start off at the upper Bollinger Band. We hit the upper Bollinger Bands twice before we reverse the head down to touch the bottom Bollinger Band. And then after touching bottom Bollinger Band, we saw a double peak and we start to revert back to the mean and slowly climb higher. And as for the trend in question, this trend dates back to April 28, 2017 to July 25th. 2017 so we also start off at the upper Bollinger Bands touching it twice or attempting to touch reach the upper Bollinger Band before reversing to touch the bottom Bollinger Band and then we have two instances where we attempt to touch the upper Bollinger Band and now we're back at the middle Bollinger Band and so what we have here is one two three four five points we also have one two three four five points on the current trend and one thing to note between these two upper Bollinger Bands where we do manage to reach that upper point we did touch the bottom Bollinger Band in between compare that to the trend in question so do keep that in mind so since the points are similar there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same the outcome of forecast should be fairly the same so the model that we just examined was April 28th 2017 to July 25th 2017 Back then, natural gas fell around 4.8%. So if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation of 40% chance between 0 to negative 8%. So 
So let's examine the technical performance of each model. So the current model that we're in, we are, let's find it, we are currently down roughly around 13% from monthly high, up 13% from monthly low, up 1% from 10 simple moving average, up 1.7% from 20 simple moving average, and up 1.3% from 50 simple moving average. And now the trend that we just examined, it was April 28th, to July 25th, 2017, it was down roughly around 20% from monthly high, up 3% from monthly low, down 1.7% 1, 1 from 10 simple moving average, and down 1.4% from 20 simple moving average, and down 4% from 50 simple moving average. Among the two trends, there are technical differences between the current trend that we're in. We see positive moving averages, compare that to the trend in question, we saw a negative simple moving average below those moving averages. And we are much further away from the monthly low also. So do keep that in mind. Again, these models are now available in the link, link, link in below. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.